organisation, now you've bristled when you've been asked this question in the past, why, won't, why isn't there a, a figure being put on it? We all understand that the figure will shift depending on the share price and, yeah. and other factors. But why don't you just tell us how much it would cost right now? Because the debate is about whether or not it is cost effective. Mm -hmm. And you know as well as I do, as soon as any figure is bandied about you, we've, then it, we've you lose nothing else this morning about the, figures. Your party well, the continually debate, bangs on about the fact that your manifesto the debate, was only fully costed. The there's a big well, hole in it when it comes to nationalisation. No, no, there isn't a big hole in it. The debate around when you acquire an asset that is a valued asset, it pays for itself because it is an earning asset that therefore covers the cost of nationalisation itself. So, for example, let's take rail. Let's mm -hmm. take rail. We're saying on rail that we will, we will re-nationalise it on the basis of the fr when the franchises end, so it's cost effective. When East Coast Line was brought into the public sector and mm -hmm. managed efficiently, it paid into the Treasury a billion. The government's now having to bail out the East Coast Line again at a cost most probably of two billion. What we're saying is bring it into public ownership, it'll be managed mm -hmm. more effectively, it will pay for itself it's, in effect. Wasn't, wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't it British Rail that missed the boat on electrification and also well, wielded the British Act? With the greatest respect, act. greatest respect, past research has demonstrated the lack of investment in British Rail, but actually it was, it was operating as effectively as it could with that level of investment. My, 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 so point, therefore, my point is, nationalisation does not mean that poor de business decisions no, will not be taken. Well, with the greatest respect, if you look at the East Coast... There's an awful lot of respect and, and you look at, and, Yeah, there is. You need, you, need, you need to respect my views as well, which is what one, when you look at the examples in rail where it's been brought back into public operation, both in East Coast Line and Connex was the last one in the South East, the most efficient services provided within our railway system. And All at I'm the same for time... Is a All I'm asking for is how much would it cost today? To do what it you're proposing at some point. It would be cost free because it pays for itself. It's, it will it's, run. It's still a commitment in terms of government spending, isn't yes, it? Yes, but you get an income from the operation of the service. Yeah, presuming but, that it runs well. All I'm well, asking for is well, a figure I'm giving on how you, much it would cost. Well, I'm giving much you the cost. example. I'm giving the example of East Coast Line. Here's a concrete example. It's been brought back into public ownership. It's operated effectively, paid money into the Treasury. Mm -hmm. It gets reprivatised. And then what happens? We're left with possibly a £2 billion bill. Mm. So that demonstrates how effective it could be.